What's up everyone, this is Andre from Indie Arts Midwest. And in this video, we're going to create an artistic rendering of a drift donut scene. And what I mean by artistic is that I'm not gonna focus very heavily on things like whether the outside of the front left wheel is spinning less or more than the um, front right wheel or little things like how torque has an effect on the acceleration around the turn. Essentially, we're just creating an infinitely loopable scene. So if you want to build on that, more power to you, but that's where we're going to start and leave it is at the drift donut angle of the scene. And uh, hopefully you enjoy the tutorial. So as always, this Blender tutorial assumes that the user has a full understanding of Blender and its interface. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do that I forgot is staying in this mode so I can see what's going on here is uh, select the calipers. And I am just going to separate them and then bring them back in because the last time, at least for my rough cut, I forgot to separate them and made them a part of the wheel. And so it was hard for me to separate them from each other in terms of making it not spin around. So now at least that they're separate, I can name them something, go back in and they're not supposed to move anyway. So I should be able to just keep them like this. Well, the rear ones anyway. <clears throat> so that's what we'll do later. All right, so they're separate from the wheels. That's great. Now we can name the wheels. Cool. And we're going here. And this is front right. We'll assign. Create another one. Front left. Assign. Rear right, assign, and lastly, rear left, once we create the vertex group. Cool. Yeah. We have our wheels named, and now we move on to the calipers which I will separate these two. And now we are going to separate these two. Perfect. Right in there. There you are. All right. So normally I would name all these parts and I probably will at some point. I mean, just in the moment I'm trying to get through this. So um, if, I, if there is a jump cut, and these are named, you know why. All right, so let's go ahead and add the calipers. So these are just gonna be rear. Cool. And let's go and select A and assign. Great. And I like to keep my named stuff short. So I'm just going to do FLC for front left caliper. And that's how I do it. All right. And then FRC for front right caliper. Great. Cool. And of course the body, which there isn't really much to change here so we just select a and then create its vertex group body okay 
Now, sign, of course, and we are good to go. Um, I'm going to keep the camera and the light for now. Our main focus is the car, so the next step will be to add the armature. All right, so let's add the armature. And we'll go ahead and keep it at its center. Normally, the center of gravity would matter if I were setting this up for Unreal. And maybe I might later if I wanted to scale it up. So I'm just going to go ahead and just center it close. I'm not trying to be perfect, just close. Um, I could line it up with the wheels in that way, but I don't want to. So I'm, if you so choose to just pull it up, you can do that if you want. But that's not how I do it, um, mainly for Unreal purposes, unless that's changed. So um, feel free to modify this portion as you see fit. Um, so I'm just going to extrude here and extrude here. And go out of edit mode. And then what we do is we select these two wheels. Shift S, cursor to selected. We go back into edit mode for our armature and shift S, selection of cursor. Oh. I guess we're good already. Cool. All right. And then we just do the same thing for the other wheel. In the front. Deselect those two. Select our two front wheels. Shift S. Cursor just selected. Go back to the armature in edit mode. Select this tip here, Shift S, selection of cursor. Great. Now, select both tips, go into top view mode, and then we're just going to, I like to do a snap. I should have had that on before. Extrude on the X axis, and technically, for editing purposes, normally I'd have this uh, rotated that way, which we would do last. Um, Select these tips again. Extrude on the x-axis. I like it poking through so you can see just a bit from the wheels. And then uh, we will select all four of these. And Alt-F, which will flip them around. Um, now. Obviously, you didn't really have to do that for these, but I do it anyways, just to keep everything looking um, symmetrical in terms of if I have to look at this in edit mode, then I already know which you know wheel bones are flipped, and I don't often flip too many bones around anyway. So, yeah, all right. So, let's name these bones. Start with the main one, which is B underscore root. I just stick to Unreal Practices. Like I said, you can name it whatever you want, or B underscore main, or main bone, whatever you want to do. All right, and then I do B underscore chassis. Oop. Rear. Goodness. All right. And then B underscore chassis front. And then of course, B underscore front left. Just caps lock that. B underscore front right. B underscore rear left. And B underscore rear right. 
Great. And then we will give the relations to all the bones in this group now. So select the chassis, go to relations, P underscore root, same thing for the rear root, and then we will connect these to the chassis. So these two are chassis rear, Chassis front, chassis front. Cool. So if I go into edit mode, well, pose mode, it should move all together, and they do. So a main root bone drives all the others. So wherever it goes, they go. So I'm going to go ahead and hide this for a moment and take a sec to name everything which i said i would do but i didn't cool so everything should have a vertex group as we said it before and what we would do is combine these together Everything is here. Actually, I'll leave that there for a second. And then I will unhide the armature, which I will also name. There we go. Subaru armature. Great. And of course, I'm just going to name this Subaru. All right, so now we can select the armature. Oh. And Control P to parent with empty groups. We go back to our mesh, which now has all the bones. So deselect everything and you just go down the list essentially and attach each bone to its conjoining bone or each attach each mesh component to its corrective bone so we'll just start with front right and then we go to b underscore front right and so on and so forth All right, so for the rear, uh, the, for the front, left, and right calipers, I'm going to assign them to the wheel bones. But if I'm unsure, then I'm going to unassign them and reassign them to the root bone. But more than likely, the plan will be to use a bone constraint on the object through vertex groups, hopefully, and then I'll be able to lock it in place from spinning along with the wheel, just following which way it's turned. So maybe that's how we'll get it to work. Get out of edit mode. And of course it follows in this format, control tab, same way, grab, everything goes except for couple of pieces which I forgot apparently how okay I'm going to say I don't care that they're not okay I guess I kind of have to no I don't cool it's a nameless licenseless plateless vehicle So, control tab, select the root bone, everything comes with it, as it should. And then the last thing I'm going to do is select both of these 
and set the location, rotation, and scale. 